Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a cute little box for you today that uses the bird's eye view. Everybody is loving this stamp set. It's one of my favorites from the catalog. And the, the best part is the little glasses you can put on the birds. Um, I'm kind of starting to think about back to school treats. And so I thought maybe this one might be a nice little teacher treat. Um, it slides off. This is a belly band that slides off. And inside is a new little Debbie treat. These are cookies and cream brownies. Hello, delicious. I will show you the box in just a second. Um, this is a pretty easy box to make. I uh, have the measurements listed on a free PDF on my blog. If I can get the belly band back around, there we go. I have the measurements listed on a free PDF on my blog. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back and get that free PDF. It'll have the measurements and all the supplies. Now this set doesn't have any sentiments. Um, so I pulled out timeless arrangement and I used a very big thanks on the corner there. All right, so let me show you Little Debbie. Looks like this. I'll have a link to the Little Debbie Treat Finder um, if you uh, enter your zip code and then scroll down and pick out the treat. They will tell you what stores in your area have them so you don't have to go running around all over the place to find them. Okay, let's make the box first. I am using Berry Burst cardstock and it measures five and a half by seven and a fourth. On the short side, we're gonna score it at seven eighths and four and five eighths. And then turn it and score the long side at two and a fourth, three and an eighth, five, make sure I'm in the camera here, five and three eighths, and six and a fourth. All right, now the first thing you wanna do is grab your bone folder and burnish all those lines. This is gonna help your box go together, be nice and crisp, and just really, you know, hold together better. Now, get your scissors, and this is the way we scored it. This is the two and a fourth inch side. The first thing we're gonna do is cut these squares here in the middle, like this, and then just cut the corners off of those, that tab, of um, that square tab. Okay, so snip, 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 and snip. All right, now come down here to this end. We're gonna completely cut off this square right here. We don't need it. All right, so snip, snip. Now, come back to the side and uh, we're gonna cut this tab like this up and then we're gonna cut it in half. This is a tab that's gonna fold into the box, so don't worry too much about it. It's not really gonna be seen, um, but making it, uh, cutting it in half makes it easier to fold into the box. And then you want to trim off the corners of that tab. All right, so flip it over. Let's do the same thing here. Cut it in half. And then snip and snip. All right, and that's what your box looks like. Now I have some strips of designer series paper, the bright and beautiful DSP. I thought this was really cute. Your box is gonna fold over like this. So we need to put some DSP here and here. Um, I'm gonna use my stamp and seal and just add those pieces before I put the box together. There we go, like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna take my adhesive, and again, I'm just gonna use stamp and seal since that's what I have here. I think it holds pretty well, um, but for 3D projects, typically you wanna go up, up a little bit to the stamp and seal plus, or our tear and tape or liquid glue. All right, you've put, so here's the front side, this is the inside. I've put adhesive on the outside of these tabs and I'm gonna fold up the back side like this and press them in to the sides, okay? Now we're gonna put adhesive here and fold over completely like that, like it's giving it a hug. 
okay? There we go. And that's basically your box. These little tabs fold in and this comes over the front. So let's put a brownie in there. Let's make sure it fits. All right, perfect fit and fold over. Now to keep our box closed, I have created a belly band. I'm taking a one inch piece of berry burst. And I actually think I'm gonna have to trim it. It's a little bit too long. Um, I'll have the measurements for this piece on our PDF today. All right, fold that over. You wanna pinch the edges like that. And then, you're gonna add adhesive to one end and adhere it to itself. That way it's gonna slide on and off. All right, and then of course we've gotta have some ribbon. So I've got this new Misty Moonlight. Let's see, it is called Misty Moonlight inner braid ribbon because it has this beautiful braid on the middle section of it and we're just going to tie this ribbon and you want to keep that white part out so when you loop it through kind of twist your ribbon so that the white braid is to the front and then you can tighten it up all right, let's see, I don't have my ribbon scissors here. Let's see how I do. There we go. Okay, so there's our cute little box. Now let's make our cute little bird tag. We're gonna stamp the bird in memento black on basic white. Memento is the ink you wanna use when you're using your Stampin' Blends. It is a water-based ink. And you wanna use a water-based ink with your alcohol markers. Now, we're gonna add the glasses, of course. Very studious bird. I'm gonna put them right there. Hopefully I didn't stick my head too far in the camera. Now, I'm just going basic with the colors of our, of our owl. Um, I'm gonna start with light smoky slate. And I'm gonna just do a full coat all on, I'm gonna kind of section off his body. I'm gonna do the bottom part first. That way your ink won't completely dry and you can add in some darker things and blend it before it all dries. All right, now I'm gonna take my dark smoky slate. Now I'm using my brush tip here. I usually use my bullet end, but because this is a larger section of you know, of an image, I feel pretty confident using that brush. All right, now I'm gonna just take my light and just kind of, you know, move those colors to the middle. There we go. And now we'll do his wing, and we want his wing to be lighter than his body. So I'm gonna kind of move the color up so that the top, very top part here is pretty light. All right, and then you can even take your uh, color remover and just remove a little bit of that so that it looks a little bit lighter. Now we'll take the light again and color his little face. All right, now one fun thing you can do with your bird, with the glasses, is take Wink of Stella, this is a glitter brush, and just add a little bit of glitter inside. It does pick up the color, so do the, the gray parts first and then brush it off, and then do the white parts. All right? Okay, now let's cut our little bird out. There are no dies for this set, but we do have paper snips, and paper snips are the next best thing. Cut off all the extra cardstock around. That's gonna make it easier for you to get close. And as you go around, just stay right on the outside of the white line, or the black line, leaving a little white border. 
and be very careful around the legs. You don't want to have a one-legged bird. All right, so just carefully go around. And I'm using my opposite hand to turn the image. I'm not turning my scissors. And there you go. All right, now we need to stamp the tag. This is one of our new nested essential dies. I'm gonna stamp the uh, sentiment first so I know where I need to stamp the books. So a very big, and then we'll do thanks up here on the side like that. All right, and now we can do the books. Right there. All right, I am using the colors from the designer series paper to color my books. First, I've got Berry Burst, and we'll do that bottom one, and I'm gonna do light on the spine. And then I'm gonna take the dark and do this label part right here. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing with um, Night of Navy. Now, Night of Navy is a very dark color. Oh no, I'm sorry, Misty Moonlight. And Misty Moonlight is a dark color too. So be careful with your dark. You don't wanna to do too much because then your black line of your image will disappear. Okay. I'm gonna take the dark and up here. And last we'll use lemon, our new lemon lolly. And I'm gonna use the light. Okay, and I'm gonna take the dark and color in that part right there. And now we'll take dimensionals and add our bird right there. Whoops, sitting on our books. Let's go a little bit higher like that. All right, bring back your, your box and get your ribbon centered, then take two dimensionals and just put it right over the edge of that ribbon like that. And then stick that right there. And there's your box. See how that belly band will slide right off. And there you have it. All right, guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to hop back over to my blog. I've got two other um, bird's eye view projects for you and a free PDF. Let me know if you have any questions and have fun stamping. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.